these kids to win a championship. So I'm excited and I'm open to your questions. Start with Steve Lagarde. You said you've known Bush for about 20 years. Just how does that relationship go back? How did y'all kind of connect? And how often did y'all kept in touch with you? Okay. Um, I was the head strength coach for the University of Rutgers in New Jersey. Um, Butch was a graduate assistant on the offensive side. Butch liked training, coming down to train and work out. And uh, he wanted to bench press a lot of weight, and so we, uh, we started training together. We became close friends. I was part of, his, part of him and, and Barb's wedding. I stood up for him at his wedding. And uh, through the years, um, we've watched Butch grow you know, Central Michigan, Cincinnati, and now here at the University of Tennessee. My wife and I would watch all the games, and she yells, you know, let's go, Butcher! And I'm like, Terry, he can't hear you. And she goes, well, yes, he can. Um, Terry worked in the, the football office at the University of Rutgers, and, and uh, so she got to know Butch in a different way, too, you know, working in the office. But, uh, you know, Butch and Barb have been great to us and uh, just really excited to be together again. Were you in that Yeah. Uh, how long will it take you to kind of assess the team and their needs in terms of what you're going to bring to the strength program here? Well, you know, I have a good plan. I'm excited for what we're going to do. And, you know, like I told the, the, the freshman this morning, um, I'm just one man. Now, I, I've got the plan, I can provide the leadership, but they've got to help. They've got to be working with me on this. And together, I think we can accomplish a lot. The, as far as assessing the team, it's, it's an ongoing process. Um, I don't know many of the guys, and uh, you know, I'll start meeting more of the guys tonight. We're gonna have position group meetings starting tomorrow, and just have kind of a skull session with each group to, to determine where their goals lie and what their thought process is. So it's, it's an ongoing process. I would say, you know, as far as fully assessing the team, it may take the full off season to be able to really sit down and say, you know, what are, what are these, this team's strengths and weaknesses? Patrick and then uh, Rob and Wes. Rock, I, I don't know how many years exactly it's been, but you've you know spent the last number of years in the NFL. Is there? Do you think there will be an adjustment in, in going to working day to day with with college players and college kids now? Yeah, I had I had 22 years of college experience before I went to the NFL, 17 in the NFL, so it's 39 years. And one of the questions that's often asked of me is, you know, do you have children? No, I don't have children. My wife and I don't have children, but uh, these are my guys. And uh, I've always had the belief that you raise these young men the way you want them to be. And I want them to be aggressive, confident, and detailed. Um, it's, it's about getting to know the players, knowing what buttons to push, um, but uh, raising them like they're your own. And uh, I look forward to developing those special relationships with this team. And you've got Pilot on that, just what is the big, having done both, what's the biggest difference in, in working with you know, grown men in the NFL as opposed to, like you just mentioned, you've got the freshman 18 year old kids today? Yeah, you know, I, th I think with the, the older player, the, the, the 22 year old um, and older, they maybe have a little bit more developed reasoning skills that, uh, you know, if there's an issue, you can sit down and talk and, and um, come up with a plan. I um, also learned in the NFL that as a coach, it's not me talking to the players. It's more like, you know, together we've got to make this thing happen. Um, it's not so much like, here's the plan, I expect you to do it. It's, hey, let's come up with a plan that we kind of mutually agree upon, and then let's go like hell and make it happen. Um, the 18-year-old maybe doesn't have that experience, and uh, there may have to be a little bit more direction and leadership, but uh, I'm looking for the, the, the older the, the older kids to, to help me lead the team, and uh, that's a process that we're about to start.